good ML family. Thank you for joining me once again here on the ML family channel. For those of you that's new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Glad you could join. Before I get into this video, I ask that you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up by hitting the like button. Subscribe so you can help me on my journey and road to 1,000 subscribers. It's your girl Mary. I'm back. Come on and help your girl out. 1,000 subscribers, that's what I need. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn the post notifications on so you can be notified every time there's an update, as well as dropping a comment. Whether it be a comment, opinion, question, doesn't matter. I'll always respond back. Make sure you share. Check the description where you'll find my TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and my Snapchat. So you come join me over there. Stimulus check update, November 29th, 2020. Let's get it. Part of the video looks a little different because I had to turn the light on and couldn't see. Um, okay, so the article says, will you get a stimulus check by December 31st? I don't know. Time is running out for the U.S. government to approve a second stimulus, but they could possibly get one done. Um, having it by December 31st, um, people are saying that it's unlikely, but it's possible. Because if they got it, say they got it done today, for example... If they got a bill done and approved through the House, the Senate, and sent to the president and signed, if it could be approved today, it still takes a couple weeks for it to, you know, the money to start being dispersed to the IRS. But if they could, if the president could executive order it right now and get us the relief we need, we'd be better off. So I'm going to skip down through the article because I'm not going to read it in its entirety. If you'd like to check it out, it's on CBS online and you can find it there. Um, they're stating that Democrats and Republicans have remained far apart on several key issues, such as providing hundreds of billions of funding for states and cities, and possibly the tax and all of that. Even if Congress passes an aid bill over the next month, it could take a few weeks for IRS to electronically dis deposit the funds into people's bank accounts, much less mail out millions of paper checks. So... That leaves many households and businesses hanging, which has always been since March. Even with the first $1,200, we still got left hanging. Millions of Americans are heading for a bleak winter as safety nets expire, which they are. Rather than try to break the months-long impasse on stimulus funding, experts think Congress more likely to focus on passing legislation to finance federal government, government to avert a government shutdown on December 11th, which is a bunch of BS because they're sitting here worried about the government shutting down. Even if the government's open, what can we do? What businesses can we go to to actually buy the items and the merchandise and the products that we need? We can't because no stimulus. Now, there's a woman by the name Heidi Sherholtz, I think her name is. I apologize if I pronounced it wrong. She tweeted out on the 24th, curious how much stimulus we really need. Read this excellent piece. We need $2 trillion between now and the middle of 2000 to 2022, the continued support of 400 billion annually until the end of 2024, then a slow phase out after that. Congress must urgently provide $3 trillion of fiscal relief. And this new policy memo by EPI Director of Research John Bivens recommends Congress provide it right now. This was actually written by John Bivens, which you can find him on Twitter at John Bivens underscore DC. And Heidi Sherholtz, you can find her on Twitter as well, at H. Sherholtz. And you'll be able to um, read more of that article. Deutsche Bank economist Peter Hopper, or Hooper, and Matthew Luzetti think Congress could thrash out a slimmed down stimulus package early next year. Who wants to wait till next year? That makes absolutely no sense. President Joe Biden's choice for president-elect Joe Biden's choice for Treasury Secretary would likely push for a speedy bill, the economist told investors this week. But who's, I mean, we have no choice but to wait, but why should we have to? That's the point. That's the purpose. Now, to go on, Mr. Biden said this. A spokesman for a president-elect Joe Biden's transition team pushed back on a report that Mr. Biden would support a quick relief bill, even if it meant cutting back on some of the Democrats' priorities, such as aid for local governments. The congressional news source, The Hill, reported on Monday. The president-elect fully supports the speaker and leader in their negotiations. Transition spokesperson Andrew Bates said in a statement, what's holding up the bill? The House Democrats. 
not necessarily, but um, Nancy Pelosi. Because she will not come off of this mess talking about we got to have all this and all this and all this. You know what? You need to cut some of that out. Get the American people the stimulus, the unemployment, the small businesses, their PPP loans, hazard pay for the frontline workers, um, education, a child tax credit right at this moment. Who honestly, drop a comment below and tell me who honestly is thinking about a child tax credit right now. I'll wait. Because I'd really like to know. Who is worried about tax season right now? And we, and we got our stimulus for help. I'm just saying. I don't know how much further this can go. I think it's ridiculous. But hopefully we can get this. We can get our stimulus. Um, as far as SSI, SSA, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, um, any type of federal income that, or any type of federal benefits, I'd rather say, that come from Social Security. Joe Biden's talking about a $2,400 um, check, $200 starting November to December, all the way to December 30th, 31st, 2021. Now, that's a raise, but that's an emergency raise on top of getting a stimulus check on top of a lifetime raise of 20%. That sounds good and all, but we need help now. We need the food now. We need the homes now. We need our cars now. We need our medication now. We need everything now, not later. So before I end this, there's one more part I would like to read. And almost 12 million jobless workers are slated to be cut off from unemployment aid the day after Christmas. That is sad. You're going to cut people off of unemployment the day after Christmas? You couldn't wait until January 1st? You couldn't wait till maybe 2023? You're going to cut them off now? Ridiculous. More than 125 economists this month signed an open letter urging lawmakers to earmark for money for stimulus checks. Reoccurring direct payments will help families meet basic needs, boost state and local economies, and speed, speed the recovery, they wrote in the letter. Cash reaches millions who are struggling economically, including those who don't qualify for unemployment benefits. Now, that is a very, very important part. I'm going to reread that. Reoccurring direct payments will help families meet basic needs, boost state and local economies. So... If they sent out stimulus and unemployment and extended unemployment and we took that money and we put it back into the economy, then why do you need state and local funding? Cut that $400 billion out of the bill. Give it over to Mitch McConnell and them. Let them agree on it. Let them sign on it. Send it to the president. Get us our stimulus. So with that being said... I love y'all. God bless you. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Make sure you sanitize and make sure that you keep yourself and your family safe through this pandemic with the rising cases. Because if you don't look out for you, nobody will. That's how I look at it. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Help me on my journey to 1K subscribers and make sure that you Turn the post notifications on for the latest updates. Drop a comment, share, and check the description. And until the next one, love y'all. God bless.